So we're in a stage where personnel is policy and we don't know what the Federal Reserve is going to look like and that matters because they will be the ones to determine the tapering schedule and whether interest rates will eventually go up as well. Scott, you help advise the New York Fed. You talk to those guys. How are you thinking about this idea about who will make up the FOMC and how that determines what our interest rate regime looks like? Sure, well, I, I think that, I mean, obviously, um, the president's going to get an opportunity here to make a lot of changes at the Fed. And uh, it, clearly, he's going to lean in the dovish direction. Um, and so he's getting a lot of pressure from the left. Uh, honestly, I, I, I think I know President Biden. Uh, he's a great man. Uh, I don't think he understands monetary policy, so he'll probably go with that. Uh, but, you know, uh, to Manny's comment and to your earlier question, um, for the time being, we're just addicted to this. Yeah. And there is no exit plan uh, for the central banks. And uh, the central banks are functioning in a role that they were never designed to do. Uh, the, the role of the central bank was to provide marginal liquidity at the times of crisis uh, and then to withdraw it after the economy started to stabilize and come back. Uh, the central banks are now running the markets. Uh, and to, to David's comment earlier, you asked him, um, the Powell put, the market clearly believes that there is a put mm -hmm. on credit. And the day will come when we test that put. And that will be a very interesting day because uh, I think the reaction function is one where the Fed will be forced to just do the same thing again and provide liquidity.